in how to prison news submitted by what is love what, what is, is love, love? Oh. Me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Lori Laughlin has hired a prison coach to get her ready for jail. So true. What? There's prison coaches? <laughs> I wonder if it's like a guy named Creeper. Uncle Jesse's wife is going away. Oh, that's Aunt who Becky. she is. Yeah, Uncle Becky. Becky. Aunt, Aunt Becky. Yes. Aunt Becky. Aunt Becky. Is that for the university shit? The university shit. She oh, she, was, she paid to get her kids in the that's, Oh, it was she her was, that did that? It was her and Felicity lot. Huffman. Oh, I heard about Felicity Huffman. Yeah. I didn't hear about her. Felicity they were like guilty. together. With the whole thing. Felicity played guilty and went to jail for like three days, and this bitch is probably going away for years. Why? Why? Because she didn't plead guilty. Cheekbones. But she also did worse shit. She did. She paid like over five hundred thousand dollars for her two daughters to be fake crew mm -hmm. members. They so photoshopped they them in, in row in crew yeah. or whatever rowing boats. What? Yeah. But guess for what school? What school would you think is worth five hundred? <laughs> Harvard? Right. USC, bro. What? Yep. <laughs> what? No shit on USC. I wanted My cousin that got straight Fs in high school got went to USC. Can we shit on Olivia Jade because she couldn't get into USC though? Who? I think I just Her did. Her daughter. Oh, I think I, I think I just did. Oh my god. Good job, dude. I thought if you have money, you can get into USC. Yeah, that's how my cousin yeah. did it. It's the University for Spoiled Children. That's how they were trying well, to Well, she went to it community college at like Santa Monica or whatever, and then she was able to transfer there, but still, like, she got like D's and F's in high school. Wow. 500K. Yeah, so that's the whole backstory on why we're even talking, why she's going to prison, <laughs> or like she could be preparing to go to prison or whatever. So. Who's the prison coach, I wanna know? Yeah. I know, I don't know who it is. I wanted a tattooed face <laughs> guy girl. named like, yeah, Shy Girl or Creeper or whatever, it's a straight cholo. Yeah. It's like Keenan Thompson's character in SNL or some shit. The scared straight guy. Mmm, mm, that's true. But, okay. So. None of you guys know what Steve's talking about. You guys don't watch SNL anymore, <laughs> nobody does but yeah, me apparently. Then why, like yeah, then why bring up the bit? Well, I didn't know. I was... you, you should know your crowd, bro. I know, you're right. I never watched it. I was always a mad TV guy. Yeah. I only watched both back in the day. Me too. But you could watch both. True. It was still good. Because Mad TV came on right before SNL, so you could watch both. You could watch like 30 minutes of Mad TV before back SNL. Before there was internet videos and you could wait till whatever time you wanted to watch things. That's what I do. <laughs> right. All right, so the story here. Were good though. Mm -hmm. The story here is that it's been reported by an insider that she's knuckling down, learning the lingo, and practicing martial arts to give off the impression she's tough and to ward off potential bullies. They're all just gonna be her fans. She should be learning how to hey, eat. Hey, I'm Becky! I don't know. Or they just beat her up because like, oh, you ain't shitting here now. You know? That's exactly what She should be learning saying. how to eat pussy, frankly. <laughs> that's true. Maybe that's, that's what the coach is teaching her. That'd be good. That's yeah, right. so uh, this prison consultant for Fox named John Fuller. Oh, for Fox? Fuller? Fuller yeah, House? I know, I know. <laughs> I thought that was ironic too. Fuller House. So he was saying that whoever she hired is giving her the best, I mean, the worst advice ever because by teaching her to be on the defense, they're already preparing her <coughs> to, right. yeah, to fail. She already fucked yeah. up. She should have came to me. And karate? Yep. Find the baddest bitch there and give her your pussy. That's it. Yeah, because you gotta slow build that pussy too. You don't yep. fucking just go in there and start stabbing it with your tongue. Okay? You, gotta you gotta walk slow. around and hold her pot. Pot tell you well. You gotta fucking slow it down like your stern soup. Just very slow. Oh, In the beginning, God. I was like, too fast, too fast, too fast. Right, Gio, is that hot? Oh, no, no, no Gio, how about this? It's like you're stirring beef. Right in me, bro. Gio, 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 Gio. It's like you're stirring chunky beef stew. So he's giving a good stuff right now. No, it's true. Yeah. Gio, chunky yeah, beef yeah, stew. Yeah, you love him, bro. That's why. Yeah. And then what, baby? Dip the ladle. Dip, dip, dip the ladle. But not too fast. You test it. Test it. Test it. Test it. Test it. Oh yeah. That's some good soup right there. Blow the slurping's good. Is he gonna blow on it? Uh, no, no, no. But it's, it's not too hot. It. We're not there yet, Gio. We're not there. Oh, I'm fucking yeah, water. Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> If it's hot, you gotta put it back. Move it on, please, Tiff. Tiff, move it on, move it on. And if it's chill, you gotta put it in the microwave. All right, so Fuller, the guy I'm talking about, he noted that when a Brazilian jiu-jitsu professor who was jailed, and this is really sad, so prepare your heart. Oh no. For raping and killing his one-year-old son. What? He was reportedly gang raped repeatedly for good. hours. Oh, yeah. Unless he, Hell yeah. unless After he, yeah. people found unless out he was he innocent. Oh yeah. No, no, there's there's photos oh, of it. Yeah. He, his whole fucking pajamas, his jail pajamas, <laughs> it's full of caca and shit and piss and everything because it's just so nasty. But Wait, because he's nasty or because they raped him no, so bad? They raped him they as hate, punishment. They hate pedo rapers in jail. They Whoa. fucking hate them. So the reason why this uh, Fox prison consultant say, says this is because it's like, dude, he specialized in martial arts.
parts and look what happened to him. Yeah, like, you know, like. He can't specialize on five guys holding him down while one guy's banging his booty hole. Obviously, pedo rapist murderer. <laughs> that crime is incest a lot worse. Person. Sure. Yeah, that's the probably the worst of the worst. Yeah. You could oh, I hope he wasn't innocent. I, that's what I said. I hope he wasn't. I hope he was for sure guilty. Yeah. I hope he. Well, wasn't. I hope he was innocent. Because then, like, I just hope nothing happened to that one year old. Well, it did. I know, obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah. The conclusion happened, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay, let's move on. I hear you. Um, but then he also points out. At least he won't out, remember. Oh God. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. So Who the jujitsu professor? Just move it, fucking on, please, oh. please. He. Mo I'm trying to be positive here, goddamn and it. And I'm trying to move on. All right. So. It's his New Year's resolution, Tiff. Prison <laughs> consultant also mentioned. You got way more sensitive in Europe. So. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, this prison consultant brought up Martha Stewart. So she served oh. five months back in 2004 at the federal <laughs> prison camp in West Virginia. At the which, which is like a nice hotel. Yes. Right, oh so then they're saying, like, we don't know where she's going to go, where yeah. Lori Laughlin's going to go. <laughs> where she goes in there fights other celebrities and shit in jail? <laughs> I learned fucking jujitsu and fucking boxing, and I got to use it now. But the whole point of bringing her up, though, is to make a point that... She made friends when she was incarcerated. She even visited them after she was released, and that's because um, there was a different approach. Martha. He said, yeah. yeah, with Martha, because he said that she approached it, uh, oh, that the object of being respected is to not disrespect. So then, like, Martha, you know, she Yeah, you walk in trying to be a tough person, they're gonna exactly. fucking eat you alive. They're gonna put you in your place. So then that's why this- Probably making everyone's beds too. Uh, it was like redecorating their yeah. cells. Yeah, oh, we love this person, it's <laughs> awesome. It smells so good in here. Or she's like, yo, be chill to be, when I get out, I'll give you fucking 100 grand. But Martha like she, went in for a cool Martha's, crime. What's the, yeah. what's- Yeah, so she went- It was like some tax- Insider, she insider yeah. trading. Insider trading. She was lying to federal agents investigating insider trading. Way cooler. That is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And she got caught like smoking weed and all kinds of shit, now right? That's Snoop Dogg's fucking right hand man. I love it. Dude, celebrities in jail should be a reality show and they could call it Celebrity. Uh, and that'd be a good show, right? I like that. It's canceled. I canceled the show. No. Well, like you can't. It. You can't because America loves it. America loves it. <laughs> the concept's type of the title sucks. <laughs> they should do a reality show on Aunt Becky called Full Jail House. <laughs> Okay. We're workshopping this time. <laughs> do, uh, if you go in, if you go into jail for insider trading, do a bunch of white collar banker guys hold you down and start kissing you on the forehead? <laughs> Thank you, like that. <laughs> good job. Like you're good welcome. <laughs> you did good. Because in this case, it's I don't know if she'll go to like full on jail, jail. Well, okay. So then this guy, same guy, he's saying that <laughs> if she ends up accepting responsibility, she will likely face less than 18 months in prison. Prison? In prison, yeah. But, um, but but initially, you know, she ended time. up saying that she was innocent, and then if she still continues claiming to be innocent, and then this goes to trial, then she has to actually Damn, prove that she unknowingly mm -hmm. um, donated five hundred thousand dollars to a charity <coughs> that's a bogus. Charity. If she has good lawyers. She has to prove that the guy conned her, which is what she's exactly. saying. That's her defense, right? Exactly. So right now. Because she didn't plead guilty, she's probably in for a harsh sentence. For like, like decades. Exactly. If she's proven guilty. Yes. But it's looking, her case sucks, basically. Exactly. So it's looking like she's going to jail, which so is why she got a guy who's going to Her go lawyers to. suck. Well, we don't know. She's basically, it's a fail safe, right? She's like, if I go away, I want to be ready for this shit. I see. They're also saying, so her team are saying that the prosecutors have been hiding evidence that they have on her, and which I guess is not <clears throat> something you do during a it's, case. It, it's, it's exculpatory evidence, which proves that you might be innocent, right? There's evidence that, oh, that shows it. that you might not be guilty. And so they're, they're saying that the prosecutors are withholding that evidence, which mm. has happened before. It's not crazy. Right, so then that's why she, like her advisor said, yeah, just say you're not guilty. Because of, mm. of this possible- I see. There's, you might, we might be able to get you off, basically. Right. People always say, don't take the first deal in a criminal case. Well, Felicity Depends. Huffman did it, and, and it she got out. three days or something. Well, yeah, they nuts. both have different um, charges against them, yeah. so it's like, yeah, even though they were caught for the same crime, one might have like 10 counts of murder while the other one is like assisted or some shit. But at the end of the day, it, it, it still wouldn't have been nearly as bad if she just said, yo, I'm guilty. 
mm -hmm. in the in the beginning. Maybe she was trying to avoid it going on her record or something like that. I think that these rich people, because I have met them before. <laughs> she has a record. It's, she still could get a job, though. It's okay, you know? These rich people are obsessed with where their kids go to school because that's where their friends who they all hang out in these rich ass social yeah. circles and get breakfast together and shit and dinners. They all So it's like a Chinese family. They brag about yeah, exactly. They brag about where their kids are going and that gives them like self-esteem boost. Damn. And so I think that they have her to live through their children, that's how unaccomplished these bitches are. So I just her like the being guilty and being a and being guilty, right? That makes her image look bad to her friend's social circle. So she's like, no no no, innocent, innocent, innocent. And I think that, that hubris is what's gonna end up being her dad. Right. Fucking hubris. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. You know what that is. Yep. Fuck That's what I just realized. Is hubris, bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that it's the, it's it the, it's pretty funny. It's the exculpatory right. evidence. It's that you, you you think you got all the answers. You think you got this shit. That's hubris. You only need to learn it. like five big words that he says, like hubris, abscond. Uh, there's a couple that he says repeatedly. I, I say uh, accoutrement. Accoutrement, he says, yeah. What does that one mean? I don't know. It's a it's, it's a like croissant a that's thing. inside out. I think. <laughs> inside out. It's when your croissant? butthole goes inside out. <laughs> oh. It's called rosebud. Yeah. From what I heard. Oh, like, <laughs> you heard wrong. Coutrement. It's a coutrement. It's a <laughs> so back to this prison consultant guy. He ends up saying that there is certain there are certain prison etiquettes that you can't ignore. For example, if you just sit on someone's bed to tie your shoe. Um, that could be oh, an invitation yeah. for sexual advancement in prison. Oh shit! Yeah. Somebody yeah. found that out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, 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 no, no, no! I'm just tying my shoe. I'm just tying my shoe. <laughs> like, Is that what you thought of me, Steve? That's why he closed the door. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh shit. They have eyes on their shoes. I, I, right. Well, I don't think they're in the suicide ward or anything. Uh -oh. oh, true. What was the flush in the toilet? Oh yeah, they have to do like a courtesy flush. Oh, mm. is that where that came no, from? No, but I, I didn't want to bring it up because his was really good. Uh, I mean, it's I still a prison etiquette thing. They should have Velcro shoes in prison. Well, like, I feel like they could strangle someone else with it. Yeah, so they should have Velcro shoes. Yeah, <laughs> or do they? That's what I'm well, maybe I mean, you it's going to wake people up. And fuck someone up. <laughs> All I know about prison is from um, Orange is the New Black, and I know that's completely fiction. I mean, not fiction, but it's like they make it more Drum Make it fun. They make yeah. it more fun. They, they, get <laughs> they make it women. sound like a summer camp, and I'm like, I want to go to prison. They don't use friend, Velcro because uh, it's too loud. He, he fucking oh. goes to jail like it's Airbnbs, and he told me that. <laughs> The, Your friend? Yeah. Well, he's he's been into a lot of different jails within <laughs> California. He's yeah. like, he's like Nashville is better. <laughs> and he told me the, the the prison culture is different per region as well. Oh, wow. So like some like he's like LA is pretty fucking violent and oh, wow. and yeah and then the, there's like the NorCal huh? and then, yeah there's like the prison prison where there's like life sentence people and stuff like that. Like uh, I heard death row is pretty nice. Yeah, that's what I heard. He didn't go there, but yeah. yeah. Because everyone's row. more chill. Like some th some people try to get on death row so they could have a better living environment. Yeah. yeah. Or in Canadian prison, they're like, good morning. <laughs> <laughs>